Bastian. I feel we lost you to the bitterness of depression. Never. Those arrogant men cannot cut me out of my own network. The cost is too great for the slaves. And for your pride. What does it matter? So long as I work for their freedom. Whatever has inspired it, I'm glad to hear the fight back in your voice. How can I help? The scientist, Godin. What is his full purpose here? Can you find that out? Whatever secrets he carries, I will uncover. Start with the harbor master. He sees everyone who comes and goes. He should have kept me informed. Physical condition. Did I ever sell you faulty merchandise? No. Il a pas mis au moins une attitude de gars. Thank you. God watches over you. You deserve nothing less. Retour. The Governor de Fayette requests that Monsieur Godin's geodesic expedition be equipped with every resource it demands. The first need is rather unusual. Monsieur Godin requires, for reasons of scientific record keeping, three. You l'as entendu. On a perdu ce retour. Rather unusual. Monsieur Godin requires, for reasons of scientific record keeping, three um, literate slaves. Uh, who would have taught them? The Côte Noire Ruibitz. Perhaps among your house slaves, uh, such a worker exists? You may communicate it privately. There is a reward. But what will they do? Take notes, I suppose? Can none of the French scientists take notes? Not if they are to carry equipment at the same time. must be important.
continues to insist the expedition wait for a Spanish ship. But we are allies now. Can they not be persuaded to allow a single French vessel passage in the name of science? We are, after all, allowing Spanish chaperones on board. Signed, Louis Godet. He does not realize the risks of this voyage. You. I know you. You're the one with the ghost ship. I have a job for you. Hmm. I sense you're looking for information. Meanwhile, I have information. And I'm sure you have some condition for giving it. Yeah. My rival uses slaves to fish three times my hole. If they were freed, the slave that is, I would be so relieved for the help. Of course. territory of Quito, the mountains and plains will favorize our triangulations. Our measurements will allow us to know the exact shape of the Earth. Egg, ova, or globe? Hmm. That is the question. With this knowledge, France and Spain will have the privilege of navigational precision. Won't the Spanish then have too great an advantage at war? Access to Quito. Hmm. They're always one step ahead. Now that we are allies, perhaps we will walk together. Perhaps. Still, I'm surprised they are allowing your expedition through. Are they not worried about smuggling? Oh, probably, but for all their military might, they're not as strong as we are in the sciences. They need you, then. And they are sending us a couple of chaperones. Have you met Antonio de Oro? I hear he's quite the prodigy. Not yet. I'm sure it will be a great pleasure. Come 
Do you want? Strange time to be delivering a message. Does it by any chance concern the expedition that's leaving shortly? Who are you to care? Uh. Tell me what you know, or I will wring it out of you. No! Very well. The governor wanted me to tell the harbor master to allow friendship to be sent, rather than a Spanish one, on the condition that. Certain goods be transported as a... as a special favor. The expedition will also be used for smuggling. Well, I wouldn't say it so plainly, but... Thank you. Good night. Uh... Alors, what did you find? An opportunity beyond imagination. These scientists aim to record navigational secrets for our beloved kings to use at war. But we can seize them to extraordinary advantage for my brotherhood and the Maroon. We need only supply literate recruits, and the rest will take care of itself. That is all. Nothing more on the governor. That is all? <laughs> that is everything! How many more could be freed with this knowledge in our hands? All things require balance, Adewale. To achieve independence, the Mayon require stability, anonymity, and information. That has always been my role. What now? That is what I thought. The storm brought you in, and you will leave on the tempest of opportunity and imagination. And I will be left here. To do what I can. Powerless. No, any day now the Maroons will rise up. Then I will leave, not before I've decided. You are as arrogant as the French. Bria. All of you. That is all you are. Bastien? No. Go now. Adewale, your ambition still gives me pause, but I promised Augusta my help. What's this? The 
forge manifests. Or so I am told. One of your famous recruits wrote it. Joaquin Francois. Henry Marchand. Fortuné Jean. Good. I'm sure you will serve the expedition well. Louis Godin will meet with the harbor master to arrange the remaining affairs of your expeditionary voyage. You may take the opportunity to switch the manifest. At your signal, we will be ready to board. Thank you. And thank you, Bastien. Anything for the Mahon of Saint-Domingue. are coming along well. Things certainly do seem to be busy. Indeed, sir. As you can see, my men are working around the clock to prepare everything. You may expect a fine vessel fitted to precisely the demands of science and your other activities. What other activities? Do not worry about the things. I will be attending. There is only the outstanding matter of your place. Do you have the name of the manifest? Yes. Right here. Our recent Come then. You must be itching to inspect everything. Indeed. I am. If you see any of those mighty sailors about the town. Defend that ship. 
French or not, these scientists must reach their destination. Our people must capture their secrets. The knowledge is more important than any cargo. Aye, Captain. These words are right. A little skill in the right wind won't last long. Use this brought the weather there! 